Guys, let's be honest with ourselves. It's September, which means it's already spooky season. And in honor of that, we're making a pumpkin. Well, not just any pumpkin. We're just going to make a bowl. A nice, cute, adorable pumpkin bowl. Hi, I'm MTF Print. I like to make stuff. I like to teach people how to make stuff. And I want to teach you how to make this using pretty simple tools, honestly. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, guys, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is save your project. So that way, if anything goes wrong, you have a record of it. I'm just going to name mine Pumpkin Bowl. Alrighty, we're going to want to start our sketch and I'm just going to aim it towards the front and we're going to start by drawing a bracket of how large we want our bowl to be. So we're going to get our line tool and we're going to go up by about 150 millimeters and we're going to make sure that line is a construction line. So you can do that with X or you can tick the box on the right. Your next construction line is going to be on the x-axis or the left to right and we're going to make that about 200 millimeters because our plate's about 250. And then we're just going to go with our actual bowl shapes. This is going to be the inside lining of the bowl. Again, just using the line tool and the arc tool to create a nice little curve to the bottom of the bowl. And you can adjust this to whatever you need. This is your project just as much as it is mine. So make it to your preference because that's what matters. As long as you like your project, we're good. You can dimension it if you want. I didn't really need to, but I did it anyway. Next here, we're gonna create the outside bumps of the pumpkin, and we're just gonna do it with splines. And you can do it however which way you want, whichever way looks good to you. You're gonna see me do it more of an upward curve on this one, but then what I end with is completely different. So it's just a matter of preference and messing around with what you think and what you love. And once you find a profile that fits what you want to do when we revolve it, uh, make sure to close your sketch where it turns light blue like you see here. And going forward from this, I'm going to show you two different ways to model this, well, model. The first one is going to be more of a pumpkin-y bottom with a curve, and the second way is going to be much better for 3D printing, because I tried to print this with a curved bottom, and this happened. So if you want to change it to 3D print better, we're just going to make the bottom completely flat using a line and we're going to draw a small line for the wall and then we're just going to top it off, make the inside flat because why not? You can leave it curved if you want. I just decided to make it flat so that way everything can sit better. So you're just drawing a new rectangle. And hey, if you're digging this, why don't you go check out some of my other videos like the one where I made a mushroom dice jar. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'll throw a thingy in the top corner for you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to revolve our profile and so it's going to go 360. That's why we only did half of the sketch and we're going to revolve it by about 45 degrees. That's going to give us our sections, which we will then fill it. And this fillet can take you anywhere from five millimeters to 20 millimeters. It really depends on what your sketch looked like when you started making the curves. I messed around with it for like 25 minutes and that's where I realized it's going to take some doing. So just give it time, you know, you're doing great. Next, we're going to want to go to create and circular pattern. And this is going to pattern our wedge into 360 degrees. So if we did 45 degrees for the wedge, then we need eight wedges to equal 360. That'll give us our full circle. And you just look around, make sure everything looks right to you before you do it. You know, half of 3D modeling is just spinning around your model over and over again. It's truly a rite of passage. For better printing, you need to do the revolve in two steps. The first step being your base to give you a completely flat disc. So that way it does not mess with the fillet of the bumps of the pumpkin. After you do your first revolve on the disc, you do your second revolve on what's left of your curve. Same thing, 45 degrees, you're perfectly good. Then you just go about the same steps of giving it a nice fillet. I used 15 degrees. And to make sure there are no gaps in your printed model, change your circular pattern slices from eight to nine. Next, we're gonna work on the most important part of any pumpkin the big goofy face. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to construct offset plane and select our front plane. We're gonna pull it away from the pumpkin towards the front and that's what we're gonna draw our face on. I like to extend my construction planes cause I'm weird, it doesn't really matter, you don't have to do this, I'm just OCD about it. Select a new sketch and your construction plane and you're just gonna start 
drawing a face. You can use any of the tools, circles, arcs. I use the spline for the mouth. I use ellipse for the eyes. And it's just gonna be whatever you want it to be. Just experiment. This is your project. This is your baby. Do what you want with it. What I chose to do was give him a nice winky face. I used the offset tool on the curve so that way it will create a cutout and I use that by about three millimeters. If you're gonna do that, I'd use about five. And just to make it a little bit easier to pull the supports out later. Yeah, you can see me here experiment with a lot of different little shapes, make it a little bit cuter, but I just ended up going with solid eyes and a little winky face and a pretty, uh, pretty fun looking mouth. And this is all sped up by about 10 times so if it takes you longer to do all these things don't feel bad it took me actually forever i just understand that that might not be great to watch all the way through sometimes so yeah take your time with it and make sure that you're really liking what you're doing now something to remember when you're working on the mouth is anywhere there is inside teeth make sure to trim the lines inside the teeth so that way they'll come out as one complete cut when you extrude into the pumpkin so to do that we're going to highlight every sketch that we want to cut out of the pumpkin so this will come out and you press e to extrude and then you're just going to drag your arrow until it cuts all the way through the pumpkin and you're going to get nice little cutouts you just look around make sure it looks good again spin around your model free to do it and then we're going to highlight every single body go to modify combine and that will combine all of our slices from our circular pattern into one cohesive part now to add some color to it we're just going to press a for appearance select what type of material you want your pumpkin to be drag it over top of the pumpkin and then just change the color and take a look at it it's a nice little cute pumpkin if you made the printing version, you may notice your face does not align with the grooves of the pumpkin. If that happens, you just select all of your faces, go to move and copy, change your pivot point, and just rotate your pumpkin until the face aligns more with what you want it to. It definitely helps to have the sketch visible, so, you know, do that too. <laughs> and just rotate your pumpkin until you're happy with it. Again, set your pivot point and rotate. See, that's looking pretty all right. Just 2.5 degrees of work. Back to being adorable. Make sure to combine those bodies if you did do it with the nine slices instead of eight. And here we have a side-by-side -side of both versions of our pumpkin bowl, our print-friendly and model-friendly. Whichever one you decided to make, I'm sure it looks absolutely fantastic. So how about we hit you with the time-lapse and then we'll come back to it after it's printed. And 14 hours later, here we are. A nice pumpkin bowl printed in glass orange PLA I got from Micro Center, I think. Uh, I printed it with four walls, so that way it isn't as translucent as it is on the bottom. And I believe it's 10% P, uh, sorry, 10% infill and 0.2 millimeter layer height. So it still took about 14 hours. It had one failure in the supports leading to this tooth missing, but you know what? I think it just adds to its charm. It's definitely massive. I am a grown man and my hand fits right into it. So yeah, this is a pretty neat print and I imagine if you make it smaller, you can put like Halloween candy in it or something or you know, I don't know if I would put a candle in it, but maybe if you made it out of Pet G or something, you could put a candle in it. Who knows? I'm not a professional in that situation. So yeah, guys, if you like this, you like the tutorial, or you just like the make in general, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, you know, share it with your friends, do all that cool YouTube stuff, because it really helps me out. Anyway, that's going to be it for me and this awesome, super cool pumpkin friend. Uh, thanks for hanging out.